We need manversations. We need... Uh, I, I know the overwhelming majority, especially of the live stream of audiences, men. I, I appreciate you women out there. I really do. But the overwhelming majority of this audience is male, is men. And one thing that needs to happen, because this is gone in our society, is we need to have men with permission to talk about male issues. We need not only permission to talk about male issues, but we need permission to talk about uh, how to be male, how to be masculine. And we need a lot of different perspectives on this. We need this uh, from people like Drexel, right? Who has a wildly divergent life from mine, right? He has a MGTOW, MGTOW perspective. I don't agree with it. I'm fascinated by it. It's not my thing. But I, you know, we need that perspective. We also need a perspective of a Doug Tenapel, a Ty Beard, right? Strong father, family man. Uh, we need those as well. Further, and this is what struck me as the most important today. This is completely different than today. All right. Uh, or this is not... This is completely different from Drexel versus Ty and Doug is what I mean by that. Sorry. It's relevant to today. We need to understand how to have male friendships, masculine friendships, because we're, we're not told how to do this anymore. I don't know if you guys know this, but friendship meant something completely different in Greek times. It meant something completely different in early American times, and it means something completely different today. Today, we're, we're kind of taught that you, you have these friendships growing up and then you move out of those friendships and into a familial relationship with a woman and your kids. And then you kind of leave those male friendships in the past. That's not real and that's not true. And it's also, most importantly, not healthy for men. Men need to be friends with other men in a real way. They need to have a male confidant because, um, and, and I've, I've been married a very long time. I love my wife more than any of you can possibly know. But at the same time, there are issues that I need to talk through that my wife isn't a proper receptacle for those issues. She's not the proper conversation partner. I need someone who thinks like me. My a husband and a wife complement each other in various ways, but a, uh, a man who seeks advice, who seeks enrichment, who, see, who seeks clarity, isn't looking for a complementary partner in a conversation. They're looking for a partner who thinks in the same way that they have, that can challenge them, that can help them grow and facilitate the thought. This is a different type of relationship. So... Um, I have a, a set of, of male friends that I value very heavily. And I know that there's a bunch of people out there who think that that type of relationship is shunned or is improper, or they merely haven't been taught how to have those relationships. So that is a big part of what's coming with manversations. I'll talk more about it as it's developed. But uh, it, the, the email I got today, so if you're out there, buddy, look, First of all, two things. One, I'm going to refer you to a friend of mine, Ken Jennings. I, th I, I really think you need to talk to, to Ken, um, and I know Ken would be happy to talk to you. Um, two, two, you who sent me the email today have inspired and reinforced the idea that this is something that is necessary because I think this is missing from a lot of, a lot of people out there and uh, not that I'm, I'm not special. I don't have any specific insight into this, but I know a lot of people who really do from all walks of life, from all stages of life. And, and those, and it's something I see throughout all of the men that I know. There are different levels, excuse me. There are different levels of need and different levels of engagement that all of these different men exhibit and they're 
all models and there's wisdom in all of it. Like I said, from Drexel to Doug to Naple, from my friend Heath who can tell us about Greek relationships all the way up to, to people you know today that can tell you about contemporary relationships, uh, to, to the guy who doesn't have anybody to turn to, um, who can tell you about a lack of relationship and how that impacts their lives. I think, I think we're, we're taught not to have relationships with our fathers. Uh, and by the way, my, my dad doesn't know this, but I'm going to be inviting him, uh, to talk on one of these shows sometime soon. So that'll be fun. But we're, we're, we're taught not to have relationships with our fathers. We're taught that our fathers by, and, and this is subtle, right? This is through TV and media. We're taught that our fathers are buffoons. We're taught that our fathers are not a value. We're taught that our fathers don't have anything to add to our lives and our, our conversations that our mothers do all the work and our fathers just run off to work, uh, and earn the money. And then the mom's the moms spend and allocate the money and they spend and allocate the resources and they determine the children. That's not true. We're taught to not respect our dads. We're taught not to respect our male friends because our male friends are just who get us into trouble, right? That's who get us into trouble. That's who, that's who reinforce those juvenile aspects of our masculinity. Uh, we're, we're taught to not respect other men. We're taught to be skeptical of other men. And, and in fact, the secular, the secular version of reality tells us to leave men behind. This is, this is the opposite of MGTOW. And I, I think MGTOW is in, don't, don't take this the wrong way, you MGTOW guys, but I think MGTOW is in some ways a, a virus or a disease that, that goes too far for guys. I, I think there's some value there, but I think, I think it goes too far. You obviously know this. I'm a married man, happily married for 16 years now. Um, but we're the opposite of MGTOW is that men are taught to leave other men and only focus on women and family. And that's not healthy for us either. Biologically, it's not, uh, uh, Judeo Christian, uh, teachings don't have us doing this. This is a, this is a, this is a messy situation where we're taught to that our male relationships are supposed to be devalued and cast aside and we're supposed to grow out of them. All of this is wrong. All of this is wrong. So we're going to be aiming to correct that very soon. I've now